Dave Burkett here from the Detroit Free Press along with Carlos Menares. Day two of Lions Patriots joint practices here in Allen Park. And Carlos, the uh, intensity got ratcheted up a little bit today. We saw a not really a fight, but a little little skirmish, I guess, right? Uh, PJ Johnson. He, after he got into it uh, with, with Ferris, he got thrown off the field. Matt Patricia sent him to the locker room. That was, uh, and I liked the little walk by there. We always like our channel, our fellas, our. Uh, Oh man! You guys oh are man! Colleagues at Channel you guys Seven, are very Brad oh, Galley. Man. You may recognize him from big uh, star. TV, we got a big TV star. So <laughs> making a cameo on Freak.com. <laughs> <laughs> you so know about, the, the yeah. Detroit media, from the Tigers Twitter accounts to the it's just it's just the. Little, I see Brad is our friend, best. but Justin is not since he walked around. Yeah. So or maybe it's the other way around. I guess. But um, all right, so back to the uh, <laughs> back to the little skirmish. I mean, Good to see that. Bad to see that. What do you What do you just make of it? As an I love, observer? I love camp fights. I love them. I can't get enough, Dave. I it just wasn't listen. A fight, though. It, it was. It was. It's pushing, as close to a fight. There was yeah. some pushing. Um, well, as close as we've seen in the last. As two close or three as years, to seeing right? DK, you know, uh, Devon Kennard also got a little bit of a push. You know, it's just, it's so boring. And these guys talked about. Thank you, though, Jen. Sorry, that's another one another of our favorite channel, TV. Yeah, Fox Two Hammer. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it breaks it up. I think it's, it shows it shows a little bit of vitality of let's you know some aggressiveness. They get so tired of you yeah. know like Loki, I can't I can't rush you, I can't push, and you know it's kind of the offense gets I think a little bit get, gets away with a few more pushes than the defense gets because they can't they don't want to tackle to the ground. So it was fun. What did you think? Did you like it? Did you enjoy? Yeah, it? Yeah, look, I mean, you know, it, it certainly is. Like I said, it's something we haven't seen around here the last couple of years. Which you know that's a, I think that's a credit to the coaches. You know, we didn't see anything under Matt Patricia last year. I don't think we really saw much under Jim Caldwell. Either, right? They, they, Very little. These guys certainly respect that that line, but you're right. When you have joint practices, sometimes it, you know you just you know the emotions get pent up a little bit. You get frustrated. I think in that instance, uh, if I remember right, Johnson was knocked to the ground. Uh, sort of got pancake, got up, took offense to you know that this is not like a tackling period. It's not a full tackling period. So a little pushing and shoving, and then it escalated, and then everybody stepped in and it broke up in a matter of seconds. So. Yeah. It's it's fine. It's part of camp. Something we used to see a whole lot more, but you know what happens when you have these joint practices. Oh yeah, I mean you know Jim Schwartz used to tell us about how Frank Cush had live hitting on the quarterbacks in Baltimore Colts camp. You know, I, mean, I miss those days. You know the the more aggressive, it's all so controlled and so careful now. And I know it's good for player safety, but it's just a little bit more vanilla and boring. So it's, it's good to good mix for it up player more. safety, and not just on days like today. But you know this is why you won't see the starters play much if at all Thursday right. because now they can get some very controlled reps very controlled situations against the other team's number one defense. Again, there's a lot of players that aren't playing or aren't practicing or only getting, you know, half practice. Darius Slay's not out there all the time, for instance, right. for the Lions. Um, you know, the Lions don't have their defensive line, but it's still good work. And and I thought, look, you know, Justin Coleman said as much after practice. He said they came out a little sluggish yesterday. He said he thought things were better today. I thought that same thing from watching in our, our media stanchion, you know, 100 yards away, that it was – I thought they played better. I thought Stafford threw some really nice passes. I thought they did some good things out there today. And who knows what that means? You know, it doesn't mean that they're going 12 and four or anything. But uh, it was just—it was nice to see after maybe a, you know, a, a performance that they weren't happy about. It was nice to see them come back with a good day. That's what they want. That's what the coaches want. You know, Patricia had them run a lap yesterday at least once. Um, you know, they want to see them respond to being challenged of, you know, have a crisper, faster pace, whatever it might be, you know, more detail-oriented. Um, I mean, even Belichick wasn't super happy yesterday uh, about his practice either. So yep. it's good to see. And this is what this is This is what it's all about, right? Getting all the little details right and practicing right. It's, get, it's hard to get 90 guys on the same page all the time. Yep. But, uh, yeah, I think it was a, a generally a cleaner practice, more more spirited, more, uh, yep. more accurate. The uh, very last public practice of training camp is Thursday, is tomorrow, Wednesday, I'm sorry. So Wednesday. make sure you come out if you want to get check the Lions out here before the regular season begins. Carlos, their first preseason game is Thursday. Let's end it on this because my phone's running out of battery here. But what? Uh, so we've got a couple little uh, power updates there. Uh, give me just the one player, one position battle, whatever it is you're going to be watching Thursday. Is there something you really want to see from the Lions aside from, obviously, everybody staying healthy, which is most important? For um, me, I'll tell you what mine is while you're thinking the wide receiver spot. I, I just think, you know, the, the top three wide receivers are set. I don't know what's going to go on after that. I think Chris Lacey's had a pretty decent cap, camp. Jermaine Curse has had some. You know, he's, he's got some uh, history with Daryl Bevel. Uh, Brandon Powell got hurt today. Don't know how that's going to shake out. Uh, you know, they obviously have the rookie Travis Fulham. I think there's a number of directions they can go with that position. So I want to see how these guys perform in game situations just to see. You know, they're going to get a lot of reps just to see who separates from the from the pack. Yeah, I think I think two things are one uh, the left guard spot. Obviously, you know Kenny, I, Kenny Wiggins is probably the leader in the clubhouse right now. You know Joe Dahl's in the mix. Um, who, else, 
Boucher. Boucher. Boucher is in the mix. Uh, Boucher um, played right guard again today. Dahl left guard with the first team. They, they seem to be keeping that pairing together and the Glasgow-Wiggins pairing together for whatever that's worth. Yeah, so I want to see how that mixes in. And also the defensive line, you know, with, with so many bodies yeah. banged up, it gives more people opportunity. I want to see how, you know, P.J. Johnson plays. Uh, Mitchell Laban, you know, he's been he's done some nice things. So, you know, it's just kind of the, that, I think the, the trench is there for the lines. I want to see how they shake out. Absolutely. A lot, of, a lot of new faces up there. You won't recognize many of the guys playing up front on Thursday. You might not recognize many of the guys playing at all. But... Carlos and I will be there as usual to bring you a team coverage from the Lions opener as well as tomorrow's final open practice of the spring. For Carlos Menares, I'm Dave Burkett, Freep.com.